Okay, ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> this is a test video. We're going to go ahead and run this one today. Yesterday, we did a test video that ran to about, we're going to do originally three and a half minutes to four minutes. It ran to seven minutes. It was the almost perfect video that we could do um, in the field of rock and roll. Real quick here, let me show you this. Uh, this is a sacred element. As you can see, this is the beautiful um, backyard for rock and roll where I've written one of my best songs. And right down here we have a golf ball that um, symbolizes a, uh, and a snake. Right above it you can see the dead snake skin and there's one to the right. There's another snake. And If you're a rock and roll singer, usually a snake has something to do with a lot of rock and roll. And the golf ball is um, symbolism. And it's because I had had a brother die a long time ago and... Uh, he died on a golf course. Right here, as you can see, is a new addition to the rock and roll family. It is uh, one of my king of rock and roll chairs. It's not that hard to be a king of rock and roll. All you got to do is um, follow in the footsteps of, you know, Elvis and people like that. And right here, I, I, I'm reading Jerry Lee Lewis's book called Hellfire. And um, of course, everyone knows he was the king of rock and roll, and um, so was Elvis. You can zoom in a little bit and you can see that um, I am one of the only living kings of rock and roll. It's easy to get that title. You just have to go to prison and you have to write about 5,000 to 5,110 songs and somebody's going to like one of them. Anyway, I'm going to talk about something top secret here in a second. Come over here chamber well this is off limits we can't go behind backstage what we'll do is we'll just do like we did when we we're um, in, in, uh, in the younger grade in the school you go in and have show and tell and that's what you're proud of your accomplishments and your achievements anyway the field of rock and roll is a very dangerous and rough field I don't recommend it for anybody unless you have what it takes on the inside which is a moral fiber of uh, strength and uh, Rock and roll attitude, 110%, 20% rock and roll attitude. We're not going to talk about Aerosmith and Leonard Skinner today. We can talk about them tomorrow. Anyway, um, we're going to skip about nine of my uh, top secret items and relics of rock and roll and go right to the wardrobe. Over here, um, this is uh, one of my most prized possessions from a recent trash diving trip. As you can see, it is a faded glory blue shirt. And my dream is, you know, I was at Leavenworth for a while, and um, there's a, this is top secret, uh, there's a road called Bo Diddley Road in Leavenworth, and that's where Elvis met Bo Diddley, and that's why the road is called Bo Diddley Road. Anyway, I had an experience there that I hopefully won't have to tell anyone else about, and the same as my Leavenworth experience is. I'm real upset about the people in the Kansas City Convention Center, because I've been wanting to play there ever since Leavenworth and... Um, throughout the career that I've had, whether it be good or whatnot. Anyway, we're going to go over here to one of the reasons why I'm alive. Um, I got world records in um, trays, carrying trays, believe it or not, in uh, skiing, soccer, swimming, and of course, three or four other world records plus rock and roll. The rock and roll world record is something that I do not like to talk about unless you're a Vietnam veteran or somebody has a moral fiber and is capable of handling what you're constitutionally capable of handling. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and go over here into the backyard. Some of this is top secret, so so you can go ahead and walk with me very slow, people, and, and, and do this. Um, Anyway, this is this is fun, but when you're a professional swimmer, and I hate to say it, but I've won a lot more than Michael Phelps, so, you know, he's not the kind of person to look up to. But anyway, this is a professional swimming start. What you do is, back in the day when we used to swim, you have a gun. So when, when you the swimmers take your mark, you go ahead and curl your toe, you bend over as quick as you can, and you grab the, the, the curve of the pool itself in the old school days or the diving board. Later, they slanted the diving board so you can curl and grip. Once that gun pops, you're fucking gone, man. Just like 
a bird. Anyway, so what we do is we step over here, and um, unfortunately, our test video yesterday was almost perfect. We got to talk about Aerosmith and Boston, Bad Company, and Led Zeppelin, and there was a robin that came to visit us from Kansas. Well, we got the robin on footage, and it went off. Today, as you can see, there are no cardinals and blue jays in my tree. So we're going to go ahead and walk over here and try to capture at least one bird for this video. Lucky enough, there he is right there. Go ahead and zoom in. We've got one bird, and apparently he didn't come from Sherman, Texas, or Fort Worth. He's in the left side of the tree. Now, if I had a gun or arrow, I would go ahead and pull him out of the tree, but he's going to perform for us. Um, this is top secret, but my cardinals and blue jays are not visiting us today. They may come in three weeks. So we're going to go ahead and get closer to the bird over here. Well, I can talk about two of the songs that I'm proud that I wrote and I'm happy about. One is a song called Overdose that was on, a, on one of our CDs before I went to prison. Um, we did a nine-song demo uh, in a band called Bootleg. Every single, every single one of the songs is a number one hit. Unfortunately, no one helped me then, and, and no one helped me much in prison, except I had a great rock and roll career in prison. And now that I'm out, things are not as level as they could be because I need someone to help me in my career. Most particularly a booking agent or a personal manager. Somebody with money, it, it could be that. It really doesn't matter. Let's focus on the bird and singing right now. <coughs> As you can see, the bird has not left the tree yet. That's kind of like, there it is, a duck. You go to the right right there. As you can see, it's a mallard going to the left and the female mallard. Well, we didn't get to zoom on them quick enough. Anyway, we do have a special treat for the viewers today. It is my king of rock and roll birdhouse. Whoa, maybe for sale someday, maybe not. It's besides the point. My cardinal and my blue jay are not here. This is where we ended the test video yesterday. I'm going to go ahead and end it here today. Unfortunately, you viewers didn't get to see my cardinal or my blue jay, but we might be able to capture one bird before this video ends. And sure enough, there he goes. If you can see center frame flying up, and you just heard there went my number one blue jay anyway we're going to go ahead and end this video and i hope somebody's happy there i'm going to continue to do at least one more rock and roll song before i depart the test video ended here yesterday and i was talking about being an airborne ranger that's something that i have feelings for i'd like to um commend the people going back to um england rogers who started the rangers and uh, he trained uh, the Americans how to kill Indians up into New York, northern New York and Canada. So the early rangers went ahead and resulted to killing Indians and cannibalism. Then there was Ohio River Valley rangers. Then you had Civil War and Revolution rangers. And unfortunately, some other wars have uh, World War One, World War Two is saving Private Ryan. The rangers had a blue diamond infantry tab. Those were the rangers in World War Two. Normandy and Utah and um, D-Day and stuff like that. Then <clears throat> you went to uh, Korea and Vietnam and you had the Airborne Rangers, which are also Green Berets. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and end this video because I do have feelings that uh, I was with Alpha Troop 3rd and 17th Air Cav, 10th Mountain Division, and unfortunately 20 or 30 of my guys are dead. And um, that's how we're going to end this video.